Hello. Can you read it in? We're going to um, check the early potatoes today. These are the mainly store bought potatoes, Jazzy and Charlotte. I think there are some seed potatoes there, Winston. Uh, all these were potted up uh, some weeks ago, but if I can just recap um, to tell you how we got to where we are today. Um, when I got these potatoes, I pre cheated them by putting them in compost. They were literally buried up in compost as opposed to being in egg boxes on a windowsill or in a, a warm place. These guys were in a warm place in compost uh, and I cheated them up. Uh, when I took them out of the compost, um, not only did they have chips, but they had roots on them. And so much so, so well developed that I thought, I need to pot these guys up now, these guys need to be planted. Um, but it was early in the year, and there was no way I was going to be able to put them in the 10 inch pots. Because at that point in time, I had nowhere to uh, stand them where it would be warm enough, it was still, we were still in cold months. Um, so I potted them up into three inch pots as a temporary measure. And when I potted them up into those three inch pots, I took the opportunity to dust them with some mycorrhizal fungi. Now I think I've already stated, I've never used this stuff before, so I'm not recommending it. I don't know if it works, but hopefully at the end of this growing season I will know if it works because I just decided to use it. I bought it, so I'm going to use it. So I dosed the uh, potatoes with mycorrhizal fungi and planted them in the three inch pots. A couple of weeks later, there was so much growth coming out of these three inch pots that the potatoes needed potting on again. They then had to go into the 10 inch pots. So I took them out of the three inch pots. And planted them up into the 10 inch pots. Now that was four weeks ago, so the potatoes you're going to be looking at shortly have been in these pots for a week. Most of them I've got in a greenhouse, uh, but some are on the patio. So some are where it's nice and sheltered from the wind and others are exposed to everything the elements can throw at them. And I think you'll see a difference. Um, so we'll have a look at the potatoes that are in pots just standing on the patio and then we'll pop into the greenhouse and we'll check on the progress of the potatoes that were potted up and kept in the greenhouse. I hope for this. Come down the greenhouse with me. Okay, let's do it. These are a couple of my potatoes that have been potted up and have stood on the patio uh, since they were put into these 10 inch pots. This is a store bought potato called Jazzy. I think you can see Jazzy's well through, a bit of yellowing on the leaves there but 
the jazz is well away only been in this pot for a week this is Charlotte Charlotte's just breaking through uh, that was Molly um, and these potatoes are both store-bought potatoes right come on let's go down the greenhouse Right then, what have we got here? Oh, oh, oh. Winston, Charlotte, Jesse. Shop board, shop board, certified seed. Wow, look at the size of those guys. I mean, these, these pots are about 10 inches tall. Those plants have got to be oh, 10 inches tall themselves. They're a bit overcrowded I think in this bed, but fortunately I've got nothing in the other bed on the other side of the greenhouse. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to split them off, put some on the, in, on, stand some on the other bed, and then give them a good water in. Um, and what, what, we're trying to, what we're trying to do here is probably keep these guys indoors as long as they look healthy, and as long as we don't need room for tomatoes, and that's got to be well over a month away before we're putting tomatoes in this greenhouse uh, because it's still too cold and it's a cold greenhouse uh, but it's ideal for the potatoes uh, so these guys can stand in here until such times as they need these beds for tomatoes and then they'll have to come out and by that time I would imagine we're probably going to be harvesting them so we'll just split these guys off first um, We'll give them a water, and uh, and that'll be that. Okay, we'll take these tickets out because we don't want to water those, do we? I've still got tickets in the pot, so I'm not going to get mixed up. Um, um, we need a bit of a tidy up here as well, I think. This uh, greenhouse is starting to look a bit untidy. We'll just pop those outdoors for the time being. I'll we'll tidy those up in a minute. And um, we'll move Jazzy over to the other side, I think. I need to make sure that I'm not uh, sticking my backside up in front of this camera. I know I've done it before, <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't make very good viewing. Jazzy. I'll just move Jazzy over here. How's your oilies doing? They're doing as well as these guys. Mind you, I have to say, I thought we were looking at the tops. You know, we're not looking at potatoes any, so we won't be too, uh, we won't be too excited about this because big tops doesn't necessarily mean big bottoms. In fact, it can, it can mean the reverse, can't it? It can mean they're all tops and no bottoms. 
and that would bring a disaster, right? We'll move these shallots. Oh yeah, what's this? That's a wince. Put it in there. It doesn't really matter, does it? As long as they actually all get some room. A bit more room than they've got at the moment. Just so that nobody's getting crowded out. And everybody gets a, a fair share of the light. And um, what was your uncle, as they say? As you can see, some of these have got on a way bit better than others, haven't they? But uh, that's not a problem, is it? Right, how's that? A bit more room there now, isn't there? Okay, we'll give these guys a water, then we'll call it a day. Now if I had these on the patio, I'd be watering the pot rather than the plant. Because you find a lot of the water that goes on the plant, finishes up on the patio, it doesn't go in the pot. Um, we'll seem to be doing okay here, yeah, so... Right, that's it. So this is one grown veg. Signing off.